Hi guys, welcome to another information video, this one on caravan storage. It's nice to think we might be using the caravan the whole time, but there's always going to be those instances where it might be parked up for one month, two months, three months. Unfortunately, in some cases, even 12 months where you don't get to use it. What is the correct way of storing it? There are two types of battery chargers, so you need to recognise which charger you have on your caravan, depending on its age and what brand it is. One battery type charger will not float or trickle charge. So typically with one of these, plug the van in overnight, get your battery at full charge. Then where you put your van, it can sit with its full charge. Otherwise, if you have a trickle charge floating charger, you can plug it in if you have power available to the van and leave it plugged in and that will manage the battery system while the van is in storage and make sure it's ready for when you bring it back out. So now that your battery is fully charged, switch everything off in the van. Make sure your master switch is off, all of your lights, anything fan operated, turn them all off. Be aware if you have an aftermarket diesel heater fitted, it might be connected directly to your battery, so you'll have to kill the power to that as well. The little remote can actually drain your battery over a period of time as well. So just make sure there's no feed coming off the battery and you'll be fine. Just remember if you have the Red Arc battery management system or Enerdrive system, they also have a storage and touring mode that you can select. The second thing you do is crack open a few of the windows. Make sure there's a little bit of air circulation. Nothing worse than getting to your caravan and it's very stale inside it. Leaving a little bit of airflow will always help. The third thing you want to make sure you do is keep the doors on your fridge and freezer open. Some of them have little devices you can even use that will make sure the door doesn't close so you're not rolling up a tea towel and sticking it in the door. Also, it makes sure your fridge doesn't start to get mouldy. When you do store it, clean the fridge before you store it or you might come back to a really nasty surprise. Make sure also as a fourth thing that your toilet cassette is empty. So empty the toilet cassette and then just put about 300 mils of water in it put one of your chemical tablets or some chemical liquid into it and that will make sure it's fresh when you start to use the van again. Some people choose if they're going to leave their van off the road for an extended period. When it's an extended period, it may be six to 12 months or more. Some people choose not to leave it on its jockey wheel and they might put a jack stand underneath the A-frame and actually lower things like stabilizer legs stuff like that, just to ease the load off the jockey wheel. If you're lucky, you'll have a shed or underneath storage so you won't need a cover on your caravan. If you do have a cover, make sure it's a very well fitted caravan cover. A lot of caravans get damaged because you get a 22 foot cover for your 20 foot caravan and the wind will blow it too much and it will actually wear the side of your caravan. Make sure you don't do that. Make sure it's a nice snug fit. So that's caravan storage. It is fairly simple. Follow the same process each time. Your van's gonna be tucked away nicely, ready for when you wanna take it out and go again. We'll do a video soon about what to do when you pull it out of storage and also what to check before you travel with it. So keep an eye out for those. Like the videos, follow us, subscribe. We enjoy making this content. We'll see you out there.